Future Mines Expo 2019, here we are at BMICH today, our 14th edition. We are on the last day of, of Colombo uh, Expo. Uh, we are glad to have a discussion with Dr. Rohanta Atukorla, one of the most out, outstanding business personalities in Sri Lanka, in public and private sector as well. Uh, good evening to you, sir. And uh, actually, thank you very much for giving us a time to have a, a few words with you. You know that Future Minds, this is our 14th consecutive year here in BMICH, and we are having our functions on uh, KCC and Goal as well. Uh, after 21st April attack, we actually, as organizers, this is organized by Nalanda Junior All Boys Association, we had a great difficulties and a, a risk to organize this matter. A uh, lot of people, they said, uh, not to organize this because due to the country <laughs> situation and all those things, but we took a, uh, I think it's a huge risk, but uh, we are very much successful there because uh, we got, uh, it's a record breaking uh, registration. So first uh, of all, uh, we would like to have your idea uh, about the country situation and how we can move forward because we have proved ourselves now with this situation we can be uh, wake up as well. We just want to have your views first. Okay, see, uh, with regard to the country situation, see what we have to understand is that we, we've seen this happening all over the world. I mean, when I was chairman of the Ex Export Development Board uh, and I was also chairman of Sri Lanka Tourism, uh, you know, when I used to travel all over the world, uh, we saw this happening in Paris, we saw it happening in um, Egypt, we saw it happening in Bali. So um, when, a, when a country brand is strong, uh, you recover, you recover quickly. Um, if your country brand is not strong, your recovery is somewhat more, um, takes time. But um, you have to also understand that today um, the world is changing. You have man-made disasters as well as natural disasters hitting all parts of the world tsunamis, um, earthquakes, landslides, um, uh, you know, riots, around the world you have. So the, the global traveler is now uh, very much uh, sensitive uh, to all this and, and they recover quickly. So, so this is not a big issue. Uh, Sri Lanka will recover. Uh, uh, the, the brand is very, very strong. And, and in which, which what we need to have is people like you all uh, who say um, I'm not going to um, um, step back, I'm going to move forward uh, and I'm going to help the brand Sri Lanka. So I mean as you said a lot of people may have said um, don't do this, you know postpone it but then uh, what, you, what you all put together is to say no we are going to have it. And what is your logic? You have 500,000 people who might do the O-levels, actually about 425,000, of which A-levels is about 225,000 who do. And from that you have about, um, maybe about 80, 85,000 who would qualify for uh, postgraduate studies, of which only about 16,000 get into the state universities. So you have a huge opportunity uh, for people um, to go and do their degrees, uh, postgraduate degrees in the country. So, I mean, Sri Lanka is shown to the world that you are an education hub. And I think uh, uh, one of our greatest products which you can export to the world is, is education. And uh, I mean, from what I saw today, I mean, all the top university of the world is here. And, and, and that's the opportunity which is there for you all uh, to market and see how you can retain the top talent in Sri Lanka. I saw on the other side, uh, the market where you are actually basically getting people to go abroad and study, you know. Uh, but fortunately, the, the crowd there is lesser than the crowd on your uh, wing A, which means that it's a good news. So, so just to summarize, I think uh, Sri Lanka will recover and it is recovering. And uh, I think brands like what you all do with Future Minds are the brands that needs to be keep on uh, coming up uh, so that you know we demonstrate the country's strength. 
when it comes to education platform future mind is based on education but sri lankan education system i don't know what exactly the where is this wrong the problem is people we know that people who are graduated they are on the road with boards and all those things without having job the where is this situation crisis is is in the education system or on their attitude or the employment or some kind of a problem is there the unrest situation is there do we have to change our attitude or the education system because when they pass out from the universities there is a gap between the employment we are not producing the people to the the real what the job the world is looking at where we can change it what in in your views can you explain what we have to do so i think um, there are two points here the first point you have to understand is that uh, our unemployment rate soundly about 4.5% so if you look at sri lanka's export we are doing about 11.5 billion and and the target as per the national export strategy is that we want to be 22 billion in the next 3 to 5 years so now 4.6% unemployment rate means you don't have people to fit in but then if you do a deep dive what you find that the people who are between the ages of 18 and 23 they are the unemployment level is 21% so there is a demand and there is a supply now the question is how do you bring this together so these are the two points that we have to keep in mind now sri lanka is also changing because you have for example the uh, it bpo sector which was about 400 million targeting to be between 1 to 2 billion in the next 3 years right uh, apparel sector is going to target about 8 billion from the 5 to 8 um, you have the tea industry saying that from 1.5 billion they're going to be a 3 billion industry so which means that you need different types of people in this development agenda so i know currently there is a mismatch but i think in the next 3 years you'll find that you need people who are in the back end and there are people who will be need required in the front end so the point you were mentioning is there a personality issue or attitude issue as to the how the graduates are trained and how these graduates fit into the private sector yes there is there is but then that is our role you know the other day last week i was invited as a keynote speaker to the kelenia youth forum i mean i just went there and there was like 1200 people in that uh, hall i was stunned i thought there would be like 200 you know but then when i looked at the questions they were asking they are fantastic so so what is required is for people like us to go people like you all to go make them aware of what the private sector want and then link them up with the industry that's what we have to do so if for example if you take maruti university is totally linked to the apparel industry all the research is done by maruti university to the apparel industry which is why apparel industry today is the first ethically manuf- manufactured sourcing destination globally you know so that kind of matching happens so the the private sector goes to the university and say this is what i want and they do the kind of training which is required so likewise i was still in kelan university because they are into arts that they should tie up with the tourism sector i mean we know that the last new product that the tourism industry developed was pinnavala in 1972 and and sri lanka is here saying we have the best beaches we have the best wildlife in a square kilometer of area um, uh, we have the eight wonder of the world which is sigiriya we talk about um uh, the ayurveda which is better than kerala we talk about smiling faces but then the question is is this what the consumer want maybe a 50 plus guy and a family might like this kind of product range but then a family which has two kids between um 8 and 15 years might want a totally different new product range they might want water sports they might want uh, um maybe a theme park you know which is so what i'm saying is that if kelly university links up the tourism industry they would do research what did 
uh, Dubai do? What did uh, um, uh, Malaysia do? What did Singapore do? How do they bring out products every three years to keep the consumer to come from all over the world? So that kind of research driven strategies, universities need to link up. And then you suddenly find that the people who come out of their degree is required by the private sector. So, I mean, this happens all over the world, this mismatch. But the good news is that 4.6% unemployment rate means you can't achieve an export agenda of 22 billion at currently at 11.5 billion, you're doubling. Good news is that you have 11 point, sorry, 21% uh, unemployment rate between the ages of 18 and 24, which means all that will just get sucked up if you're developing that agenda of exports, only exports. Huh? Tourism is saying that you're going to be a 4 billion to 10 billion, you know, which means that our demand chain is going to be more than supply. So it's just only a matter of time that everybody who passes out at universities, they'll be getting good money, you know, so they will learn English, they'll change their attitudes, you know, they will want to buy their first car, they'll want to buy their first house, so it will change. Thank you very much for your words and the other thing is since uh, you have been work as the chairman of Exports Development Board as well, when it comes to market Sri Lanka as a Sri Lankan brand, the education also, I feel we can uh, market education as a hub in Sri Lanka and in the South Asian market as well. Uh, even on Maldives, Bangladesh, Bhutan, uh, when you compare with the other uh, countries, uh, our education is well, very much recognized and the cost of living also very good uh, compared to their, their things and we do have certain facilities as well. When it comes to NSPM, the uh, SLIM, I think uh, more attraction is there for the foreign leaders. So what strategies that you propose, uh, even uh, the future minds also now we are having certain discussions with Maldives as well. As a country, to promote this uh, country as an education hub, what are the areas that you think we must do? See, um, it's like this. I mean, if you go to Future Minds today, you can see the degrees that ranges from Malaysia right up to Australia, UK, across the world. So you find that the supply chain has been built and all those universities have come to Sri Lanka, they have done their quality certification and come forward. Now, I find that most of these local partners are also now having developed their product in such a way because there is demand in the marketplace. So if you are saying that you know you have 40, 45,000 graduates who come out of A level and you are saying that all of them can't get into universities, only 16,000 get in, that whole market is there for the private sector. So you have the supply chain, you have the demand chain. Now I think what is required is the government must come out with regulation. They must regulate the private sector institutions. You know, the people who are lecturing, the syllabi, the delivery, the facilities, you know. So that then what happens is we make sure that you can't have an international brand just comes here and starts reaching our target group. But if an international brand comes and they're partnering a local partner, you must make sure that the local partner's product range fits in. For example, let's say master's, MBA program. I mean, I went now to six universities here, and all these six universities uh, are saying that all their MBA programs are full. They have a, a February intake, they have a June intake, and they also have an intake in September. Now, the question is, if you're saying 40, 40 students means you're churning out almost 120 MBA graduates to the country. Now the question is that, I mean, when we were studying masters, you know, we can't do masters within one year. You know, we did two and a half years at University of Sri Davanapur. The quality was, I mean, stringent. If you don't have 80% uh, attendance, if you don't have certain amount of um, quality in your answer, you're failed. And your dissertation itself, you know, they, they, they really, you know, make sure that you're in line. So, now with these global brands coming in, you've got to make sure that the local partner 
is developed. So for instance, maybe Future Minds 2020, when you all are taking your registrations, you will say, I'd like to see the quality certification by the Ministry of Education or the Ministry of Higher Education. Only those who are quality certified are allowed to come here. So that then you make a statement to the country and say, if you come here, we make sure that the product that comes out of here is good. So the parents say, okay, I want to go to the Future Minds brand because at Future Mind brand, when I select a university, that university has quality and if I send my child, that person comes out as a good product and the chances are that they will be recruited immediately to the private sector. So I think that kind of quality certification to the private sector must come. That certification is there for the government sector, but in the private sector, it's not yet coming. Global universities come, tap with the private sector and they run it. And who certifies it? That country's uh, quality certification, which, we, which none of us in the government is aware. So I've been mooting this idea when I was heading the National Council for Economic Development, I was reporting to the Treasury Secretary. And I was handling actually 22 clusters like tourism and construction, apparel likewise. And, and I was telling this education sector is good we, we are earning the right to be the hub of South Asia, which is the growth region for the whole world as we speak now. And because Indian students cannot go to Pakistan, I mean, we have opportunity of putting them into Sri Lanka as well as Pakistan, as well as Maldives. So, um, <clears throat> and of course, Nepal. So because of this kind of a central geographical spread that Sri Lanka has, if we can make sure that the product quality is maintained, I think that will also make even the students to say Sri Lanka is fantastic with regard to product. Great news. Uh, I think uh, that's embarrassing uh, and I think we do have certain discussions on our planning. We must take that point as well. Uh, we are having our next sessions on Candy City Centre on next weekend and we are going to have this on goal as well. As a destination in Sri Lanka, if you are going to select another place whether with your wits, what are you going to suggest? Jaffna. Jaffna. Yeah, definitely. But I would also say that while you're having this the exhibition, you must have education tracks. You know, so that during the day um, you get a faculty, you get a nice panel and then they discuss about programs. What do you, how do you select an MBA program? Actually, uh, I wonder whether you have not visited our counselling uh, section, but you don't have a time to, to go there. There's a separate section on the uh, counselling. We have uh, a unit with the Sri Lanka Counselling uh, okay. Association. We have more than uh, 20 people, counsellors are there. Uh, so people, uh, the, especially the youth crowd, before coming to the, this uh, stall visit, uh, they have their own evaluation. Then based on that, uh, they are visiting, they are meeting the counsellors. Based on that, their guiding uh, is given to basically on those areas rather than on a routing basis. Based on their skills and their uh, ability, they will direct to the... So they do aptitude kind exactly. of things. Okay. See, what I meant to is something different. Okay. I'm saying is that you get professionals during the day. Ah, okay. And you have yes. panels. All right. So that then... A student will come, they would go to the stalls, but you might also have these panels marketed to the world. Right. So suddenly you might say, I'm going to get the top CEOs from the apparel industry, mm. you know, coming and talking about the importance of education in the apparel industry. Right. So that then they basically market some of these degrees which have been offered to apparel. Right. You might get CEOs who are in, the, in, in top management companies. Um, so that then what happens is they'll be saying, what do I look for for my MBA graduate? How do you select MBA? Okay, uh, uh, was the MBA useful for my future to what I have become? You know, so that kind of tracks. I, I think uh, uh, Slito, when they have the tourism, the, the what do you call, uh, what's that one called? Um, uh, Sanchar Kudava. Now, when they do the Sancharaka, that thing, they have education tracks. So what happens is, when somebody comes here, they don't only just go and uh, look at the stalls, 
but they get involved in all these kinds of discussion that becomes very education driven then the media comes you know and then these guys go and sell it to their companies the the, the people who are with featured so then they come then you have the government people who will be brought in for discussions you know what i'm saying so so you make it like a like a um, uh, education forum you know i mean just an idea yeah thank you very much and uh, we don't want to take your time but within next few minutes this will go to nearly around 500 to 1 million people because uh, this has a network of our own facebook plus ngoba plus oba and the foreign network as well with us so especially the people who are looking with us uh, the parents students those who are going to join with us on candy and on golf it's time you to have a message to them about the future minds and uh, about the importance of future minds well um, thank you thank you for the invite if there is one i would like to one point that i would like to share is that uh, see education is one the other is about um, attitude and skill so you know while you are pushing your child to study uh, from a levels into a degree and then from a degree maybe to a postgraduate studies i think also get your child linked to um, extracurricular activities maybe interact maybe road track maybe leos um, so that they start uh, getting some social skills and and the other is uh, make sure that you also put your child uh, to sports it's very very important because in today's world uh i have seen um if you don't have the skill of when you uh you fall on the ground and if you don't have the skill to get up and run all the education in the world doesn't help and and social and sports teach you how to take defeat um how to fall how to pick up the pieces and again run uh, and 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 that's area is much more to me important when i go and recruit people for our companies then actually just looking at education thank you very much dr rohan tatukorla it's a pleasure to have a discussion with you and uh, it's a very much honor future minds to be here your presence is here and uh, please do comments with us uh, with this discussions also future minds secretariat will uh, revert to you with our comments as well and uh, thank you very much we will uh, like to see you on candy uh, candy city center on next weekend thank you very much